Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. So in this lecture series, uh, I will talk about basics of animal cell culture. So uh, this uh, lecture series particularly, it will be uh, related to, to different uh, molecular biology techniques. And in this lecture, I will talk about basics of animal cell culture. So, but uh, as you have already studied uh, cell culture in, in, in your schools, colleges, and you may have uh, theoretically studied cell culture a lot. Uh, this lecture is particularly for those who have only studied theoretically animal cell culture and have never seen uh, uh, this uh, cell culture facility. Those who have already uh, who, have, who have been already using cell culture facility, maybe this uh, video will not be that much helpful uh, for those. But um, in, in uh, some beginner, uh, for some beginners, it may be helpful because it it, it, it I will also give some information about uh, contamination about uh, cells. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I, I, in in this lecture, I have given the aspect uh, for those students who have not yet seen the cell culture, but they have studied the cell culture thoroughly, or, st or those students um, because of the lockdown, uh, they they were working from home or they were studying from home, so they have not. Uh, uh, gone, uh, they, 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 they have not worked in a cell culture, but uh, the cell culture was shown them that this was a cell culture practical, but they were not able to do that practical. So I, I, I will try to show uh, most of uh, the things that we use in the cell culture. So I, I hope this video will be helpful for the, for the beginners. So as I already said, this uh, le this lecture uh, will be uh, a basic lecture and will be for beginners. So firstly, uh, what is the cell culture? And uh, as, as you know, that it's, it's a technique uh, as as it uh, depicts from the word culture, it's a technique to grow cells. So cells, uh, actually cells are the live or basic units of the body. And uh, when we grow them outside the body in, 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 a, phys in, in a condition which uh, resembles to the physiological condition, that uh, the growing these cells is called cell culture. In 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 this picture, you can say that uh, see that it's a petriplate, and in this petriplate, uh, there is a media, and this composition of this media resembles to our physiological condition, uh, and it will uh, this nutrients uh, this will media will give nutrients and other uh, <clears throat> oxygen and other things to these uh, cells. So, uh, as I already said, these cells are they are grown in art artificial environment. Mm, so, in, in in the cell culture, uh, my cells are cells are not grown in in the body, but they are grown in artificial environment in in, in some condition, and that condition is maintained, uh, and my, it uh, that condition resumes to our physiological environment. And some uh, ideal growth conditions are needed, for example, necessary new nu nutrients for each uh, cell type. We have to study. What type of nutrients uh, on on which these cells survive, or uh, what type of nutrients these cells will assimilate? So we have to study the, um, for each type of cell, and after that we have to provide uh, sufficient and necessary nutrients for these cells. <clears throat> As we know that our body uh, temperature is 37 uh, degrees centigrade, and pH is uh, nearly the physiological pH near 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 the neutral pH. So uh, 7.4 to I think 7.3 is our physiological pH. <clears throat> so we have to also maintain the physiological pH and physiological temperature temperature when we grow these cells in an artificial condition in artificial environment. Another thing that we need to maintain uh, <clears throat> uh, to to grow these cells is the ideal humidity, uh, so so that uh, <clears throat> the, these cells will grow properly. So another in another another slide, uh, why why we need to grow grow these cells? For example, <clears throat> we we need to study. We need to study the function of, uh, for example, kidney or some organ, or we need to study the effect of uh, uh, these uh, cells on 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 this organ. But it is very difficult, or it is uh, very challenging to study the effects in in a, in a in a whole physiological system, in a whole organism. It is very difficult to study effect of that drug uh, on 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 the whole organ system, on the whole body. So as you as you know that an organ system, for example, kidney, it is made up of uh, some organs, and organs of, are made up of tissues. And basic units of uh, these uh, organ is a cell. 
and uh, the actually the functional unit of, of this organ is a cell actually the function which actually this organ is doing it is done at at these basic units at these cells so if we can grow these cells in in a culture and 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 if we if we want to know the function or some mechanism uh, some uh, of, of of the organ or organ system we can uh, know it from the individual cell by growing the individual cell in the culture and it, it is very easy uh, to, to grow uh, these cells in a, uh, in, 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 a, in, a, in a in in a artificial environment so first thing is uh, we uh, <clears throat> study the normal physiology we can also study the normal physiology for example we we uh, we um, for example some new we do not know the function of some organ or some some mecha, some some uh, physio physiological action is going on in, in in the body or in the organ we do not know that so we can we can study normal physiology for example uh, control of uh, glucose uh, control of insulin release how insulin is released we can uh, study the pancreatic cells uh, pancreatic islets of lagrange we can see see study the normal physiology how they are releasing insulin so we can uh, isolate these uh, pancreatic cells and we can culture them in, in a culture media and we can study the normal physiology. Study of the disease. As you know that in the disease condition, there is alteration in the normal physiology. There is some alteration at the cellular level. We can also study or we can also track these uh, uh, alterations in the disease conditions in a normal cell. But it is very difficult to, to uh, track these in the whole organ as compared to whole cell. So uh, cell culture here also use the advantage drug screening uh, in the in the in the drug screen for for example we have to screen the drugs for example we have known we have to screen that drug or see the effect of the drug we have to four to five drugs we have to see its effect on um, some some types of cells for example heart cells so we can uh, in, instead of giving in, in the whole organism we can uh, give the treatment of this drug in the cell culture while or cell culture plate and uh, different drugs can be screened um, uh, for the, for their physiological and other positive effects or negative effects we, we can screen those drugs toxicity testing same as the drug screening toxicity testing can be done on the on the cells so uh, uh, in in the in the cell culture uh, the some some material or some drug is given to study the toxic effects of the cells if if it is uh, uh, giving toxicity to the cell if it is given toxicity to the cell so it will also lead may lead to toxicity to the whole organ or the body a diagnosis of the disease for example in in some disease uh, conditions in some disease conditions there is a change in morphology or uh, there is a change in, uh, in 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 the cell so the some cell samples are taken and and they are studied for example in case of cancer the cells are taken taken from uh, from the tissue and uh, their morphology and other features are studied to diagnose the disease so in that case cells are also taken out and uh, they, are, they are cultured to to study the, uh, to study if, if uh, there there may be any disease or not so uh, cell culture have also uh, helped in uh, genetic engineering it is uh, cell culture uh, culturing cells in in, in a in an artificial environment uh, was a very great help for genetic engineering because it, it is in, easy to manipulate genes in the in the cells as compared to whole organism for example in, in genetic engineering some plasmids are inserted in, uh, in, into the media and cells will take those plasmids and and uh, the some they, they will associate with the genome or something else and uh, they uh, genetic uh, and, and we can engineer those cells so because of cell culture genetic engineering uh, was was also uh, flourished now uh, types of uh, cell culture so there are two types of cell culture or two types of cells uh, one are primary cells uh, uh, cell lines primary cells are those cells which uh, are directly isolated from the or organism and they are similar no no changes were made for example uh, if if we isolate cells from some organ for example rat heart uh, we take the heart we chop uh, the excess matrix that's covering the cells we we remove that with with some uh, chemicals like collagenase yeah trypsin then after that but there is a process of isolating these primary cells and if we culture those cells there those are primary cells and another is a cell line 
cell line uh, they are also uh, isolated in the same way from the organ uh, from uh, from 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 some organ or uh, tissue but after that uh, they are treated with some there are there are some modification in these cell lines to 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 make them uh, survive for a longer for example these cells they will not survive for much longer after three to four passages five passages on the basis of different cell on, on the basis of different cells they they will die because uh, but they they, they because because they are not uh, designed to culture uh, to grow in in the cell culture but they will grow for some time but after some time they will feel that uh, something is missing and they will die but in the cell cell in the cell lines uh, some genes are modified some modifications are done and they become immortal uh, not become immortal uh, they were not the exactly the word immortal but but they can survive for longer type of passages we can grow them long to long uh, some um, so so that uh, they can survive and also uh, these primary or uh, uh, these primary cell culture uh, the primary cells or cell cells, uh, cell lines they may be of two type two types they may be adherent cells or they may be suspension cells when we grow the cells some of the cells may adhere to the bottom of uh, the flask but they completely adhere even if, if you remove the media or if you tilt this flask they will not be removed so they completely adhere so the the type of this type of culture is called adherent culture and in some cases some types of cells they do not adhere they do not have the property to adhere to the uh, to to uh, to, the, to the cell culture flask so they, they are suspension cells so so usually the blood cells or they are they they grow in a suspension medium or maximum type of cells they they grow as adherent culture Uh, after talking about some of the basic things about uh, cell culture now in in this picture i will talk about how cell culture lab looks like i think the abu things you may have studied already in in your courses but uh, those who have not uh, uh, visited the cell culture lab ma this is the outline or outlook of the cell culture lab so uh, here uh, there is a entry uh, of the cell culture lab and in in the entry uh, sometimes ma uh, there is a high air flow so that outside air will not enter the cell culture lab here it is a sink lab lab coats and sleepers are uh, placed here or outside the cell culture lab uh, maybe sometimes this uh, this lab coats are placed inside and uh, sleepers are placed outside so outside sleepers or outside shoes we uh, we don't have to enter uh, with outside uh, sleepers in in the cell culture lab and also we have to wear uh, the gloves gloves and uh, we have to wear the lab coats to um, to prevent uh, con contaminating uh, the cell culture area because maybe uh, our clothes may be containing some dust or some uh, contamination from outside so we need to we, we need to make sure we wear the lab coat and uh, here in this uh, lab you can see that uh, this uh, in instrument uh, this is the laminar air flow all the uh, things uh, needs to be done in this laminar air flow this laminar air flow <coughs> actually uh, it uh, my you may be aware of the laminar air flow in in, in this there are hepa filters and air comes uh, from those hepa filters and outside air will not go inside directly so so there there are uh, very Uh, less chances uh, that uh, it if you open the cells in this laminar air flow it, it they, they will get contaminated so all the procedures uh, in uh, for the for the cells will be done in this laminar air flow and this um, and um, all the medias are uh, all the flasks we have to open them only in this laminar air flow and in the condition that laminar air flow should be on so that that that, that is the prerequisite <clears throat> and uh, this instrument that you are seeing it, it 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 is the centrifuge for example we you when you have the cells in the suspension or you have uh, in case of adherent cells also when you have removed them from uh, the uh, this uh, flask and you want to now isolate these cells for any other thing or you want to count these cells or you want to transfer them in another another flask so you you or you want to separate the media from these cells So in in that case you need to, you need the centrifugation so that uh, when you centrifuge these cells uh, they 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 will settle down and you will remove you you will be able to remove the media so the, this centrifuge is needed so this may be the wash bottle ethanol bottle so 
maybe you you uh, may know that the before uh, working in the cell culture or before uh, placing your hands inside the hood so you have to wipe your hands with uh, this ethanol bottle or anything that you place in the cell culture you have to wipe uh, uh, here using using this ethanol bottle uh, using the 70 percent ethanol and uh, uh, I, I, will, I will talk about these things in detail in in, in the coming uh, slides also so here uh, in in this picture you can see that there are two uh, machines and these two are incubators these incubators uh, actually uh, here we are maintaining the full physiological condition we are maintaining the temperature which is 37 degrees centigrade we are maintaining the co2 concentration 5 percent co2 concentration is maintained in animal cell culture we are maintaining the humidity in 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 in, in these incubators and uh, <clears throat> all 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 this room all the things in this room they are clean and uh, um, uh, they, 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 there should be no contamination in, in this so we have to uh, keep track of the contamination also and we have to keep them clean also this room whole instruments in this room so here uh, this uh, you can see that here is a microscope because as we are growing the cells so uh, we we have to also uh, on on daily basis we have to look into the cells what are their conditions are they healthy because if, if if there is some problem with the cells their morphology is changed the color of the media is changed for example if there is uh, some contamination we can visualize it uh, from the color of the media or we can visualize it using the microscope so health of the cells and all other things uh, will, will be done with this microscope and um, in uh, some cases this microscope also has a fluorescence uh, if you are fluorescent labeling some types of cells in, in a specific type of experiment so uh, here uh, they say this is important my fluorescence is also uh, important in that case so here um, i think it, it is it is another centrifuge or maybe it, it, it is a water bath uh, because uh, uh, as you know that uh, we have to maintain the physiological condition and all the media and uh, other things actually they need uh, uh, storage at they need to we need to store them at four degrees centigrade so in in that case uh, this uh, before using those media media or uh, different uh, fluids before using them we have to we have to keep them we have to uh, make sure that the temperature of uh, those media is 37 degrees so before uh, working them here in the cell culture we have to place for some time in a water bath so that the temperature will be 37 degrees centigrade now in the coming slides i will uh, i will i will tell you uh, uh, um, more about these instruments that are used in the cell culture lab so this is the cell culture hood or laminar ear hood so here uh, we have to lift it up to this uh, limit only because uh, they, to limit the entry of the outside ear so we have to switch it on uh, 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 for for some time before we start working on it uh, working in it so this is the uh, ear flow scheme of the laminar ear flow the ear comes if ear comes here there is a vent it will go here and uh, our sample is placed here so the outside ear will not uh, contaminate our sample and uh, this ear goes uh, through this half filters and uh, it will come through this half filters here uh, in in our hood and this because of this high flow no outside ear will go here and no uh, contamination uh, will uh, come in, in our samples so this is the laminar ear flow and uh, before working in the laminar ear flow uh, there is also a uv lamp here uh, uv lamp here so you have to put uh, the uv lamp on for some time before working so that to make sure that uh, this is a clean ear so to sterilize it and also before working you know, usually you will wipe uh, this uh, portion working area of uh, the laminar airflow and in the laminar airflow uh, this is the working place so um, so this is the uh, these are the uh, disposable these pipettes which are which are placed here because each time we have to use a disposable pipette because we cannot uh, touch uh, the pipette uh, of one flask with another if, if uh, there are two dip, if, if the flasks are 
uh, having uh, two different cells. So this is the waste container. If you uh, are getting any uh, any waste, you can discard it here. And this is 70 5 70% ethanol for spraying. This is a liquid waste, and all these things should be inside the hood, and they should be wiped with ethanol before uh, before uh, this. Uh, uh, before before putting them in in the hood this is the tube break to place the tubes these are the cell culture flasks these are this this is the pipette uh, which is used to uh, in in, in uh, for for these pipettes to uh, remove the media or to add the media in the flasks or to do different procedures so this this is the working place uh, in the cell culture hood and all the procedures in the cell culture or only done in this cell culture hood not outside the room so outside you don't have to open this uh, these knobs of the cell culture plus or these uh, media reagents or media you don't have to open them outside the cell culture and inside the also if, if uh, the hood is not working so we have to put the hood on in each case so <clears throat> this video have particularly made for those who, who have no, who are not familiar and and when when uh, i hope most of you will join the good labs when you join the lab you will know most of the things because of uh, this video as i already showed uh, you that we have to keep this flask in a in a in a in, in this incubator and this incubator maintains the temperature of 37 degrees centigrade and 5 percent co2 and relative humidity is also maintained this is the inside of the incubator and we have to close it every time we don't have to keep it open for a longer time because the co2 concentration here uh, it drops actually co2 comes outside and this is the co2 cylinder that's att attached to this incubator and uh, we have to look into it uh, if it becomes <coughs> empty we have to replace it <coughs> so you may be curious why why uh, we are using five percent co2 so co2 uh, in, in the cell culture and and uh, maybe you, you you may be knowing that the simple reason may be because in in our physiological system there is a five percent co2 that that's why we are using five percent co2 <clears throat> that is also the case but there is also uh, logic behind it. it it is because of the uh, bicarbonate concentration in 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 the cell culture media <clears throat> actually uh, the the uh, CO2 it reacts with the water and forms the sodium bicarbonate and this sodium bicarbonate dissociates in, in, into this its ions and this 5 percent CO2 it is uh, it, it is maintained uh, about according according to the bicarbonate concentration and it it, it will maintain the pH uh, when when the bicarbonates are formed it will act as a buffer and maintain the pH uh, in, in, in the cell culture medium actually the bike are usually one point i think two grams per liter or something two grams per ml that uh, i think one by two grams per liter is the bicarbonate i don't know exactly the bicarbonate concentration in the media but uh, it is calculated uh, according to that uh, so the co2 concentration and bicarbonate concentration <clears throat> they match and uh, they act as a buffer but they have they have the correlation in between in the act as a buffer so that the uh, so that the pH is maintained uh, because of the metabolic activity, maybe the pH uh, of the media may change. Um, maybe cells will release some um, metabolites that may change the pH. So that that will be harmful for cells. So in that case, the pH should be maintained. So uh, in our body, we also have the buff bicarbonate buffering system, and in 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 here, uh, these uh, these CO2 and bicarbonate they act as a buffers, and they will prevent the changing in pH. So another thing that uh, I talked about is the is the centrifuge and uh, this uh, microscope. Uh, as I said that uh, earlier, said the centrifuge used to pellet down the cells uh, to remove the media or to separate the cells uh, from from the media or when we need to cells for counting or anything else. In in at at that time we need to uh, uh, we need to centrifuge uh, them or pellet them down. Another uh, thing is the cell culture. Uh, as I said, uh, on on daily basis we have to look into the cells and uh, we we have to see their health. So sometimes this uh, we can see from these um, optical lenses we can see the health of the cells. But sometimes the uh, computer or PC is also attached to the microscope so that you can take the image of these cells for for publication purposes or other purposes and uh, fluorescent lenses or fluorescent uh, 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 fluorescent of these uh, 
sources are also there uh, sorry not fluorescent lenses but fluorescent sources are also there fluorescent light sources that will help us to identify some fluorescently labeled molecules if if we have labeled uh, some cells so <clears throat> these are different types of flux uh, media uh, this is the t uh, uh, 90 uh, this is a 95 96 well plate this is a 6 well plate this is the 12 well plate 24 well plate it's a 90 mm plate 30 mm plate and uh, this is seven uh, t 75 flask and t 25 flask and t 75 that it, it has a 75 centimeter square in this base area and on the cells go in is 25 means it's a 25 centimeters square base area and uh, here the wells means number of uh, cavities or wells in these cells so here's the pipe 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 uh, we we remove this media like like this so we have to tilt the uh, this flask or uh, this uh, this plate so that uh, we, we we do not disturb the cells in here in, in which are which are adherent to to this uh, this uh, plate these are some uh, medias uh, that we add usually this dmem was modified eagles media this is the most commonly used uh, for different types of cells but uh, it depends on the cells some special uh, uh, media requirements are also there for different types of cells so it contains different amino acids or uh, different uh, glucose concentration i think for 4500 grams of glucose per liter are there i think in this so I don't know exactly these terms, but uh, it contains different glucose and different uh, these. Now this is for fetal bovine serum. It is uh, this it's isolated from fetus serum, fetus bovine serum, cattle serum. So it contains some uh, um, it contains some amino acids which are essential uh, for 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 these uh, cells to grow. This penicillin uh, streptomycin, uh, I actually we uh, usually use one percent of this pen strip. Uh, it it is antibiotic and it will uh, prevent the contamination or some untoward things to happen in this flask. And this fetal bovine serum usually use ten percent in in with with this media to grow to grow the cells. And this strips in EDTA actually uh, this strips in EDTA it breaks the uh, this extracellular matrix between the cells uh, actually these cells they adhere because they release the extracellular matrix and because of this extracellular matrix they adhere to the the bottom of, of the cell culture plate and uh, when we uh, treat uh, these uh, with the, the trypsin uh, they, they these uh, these extracellular matrix will be broken down and cells will be uh, cells will be removed from the cell culture plate and usually for this t20 t25 we add 1 ml t75 we add uh, some 1.5 ml yeah, or, or uh, 2 ml uh, these strips in, and we will place it in, in in at 37 degree for one or two minutes so uh, here we have to uh, we have to be cautious so that we we, we will not uh, we have not to give these strips in for a long time because it actually it is uh, removing this extracellular matrix or breaking this extracellular matrix sometimes it may damage if we uh, keep it for a long it may it may also damage the cells also so in in, in this uh, slide in this slide i will show some of the uh, basic requirements or uh, some of the uh, instruments or pipettes that uh, that uh, we are commonly using in cell culture so this is the pipette uh, and it is used to remove the media or add, add the media uh, give treatment to the cells and this uh, is a multi-channel pipette this multi-channel pipette is used in case of uh, 96 well plate for example in uh, you have seen the 96 well plate uh, there are there are too many number of wells if if we remove the, if we uh, remove the media from from uh, this uh, plate uh, let me turn on the laser if we remove the media from this it will take uh, we have to take uh, the media 96 times so it is very uh, cumbersome so uh, in that case we will uh, use this multi-channel pipette it, it is it is very easy to remove because it will remove the media for a large number for if it's a 12 channel pipette 12 well pipette so it will remove the media once at the same time in in, in the 12 wells so here the volume is also adjusted uh, in, in this pipette so we can uh, adjust the volume how much we have to add or how much we have to remove so there are different types of uh, pipettes uh, which are uh, which are used in this uh, city pipetter and um, this, this is controlled by these two knobs upper knob means uh, 
if you press the upper knob that means it will uh, it will suck the sample and if you use the lower knob it will push the sample or media out of of, of this uh, pipette so these are the tubes that we generally use in the cell culture and when you go in the cell culture you will uh, regularly use these things uh, this is the 50 ml falcon and this is the 15 ml falcon and these are the tips uh, which which are used uh, in 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 this uh, uh, cell culture pipettes and you have to actually discard these tips every time you touch the uh, you media or you remove the media if if, if you are uh, then doing some another thing or you are uh, removing the media from uh, wells which have the different proper which have a different treatment or which are different cells or some some if, if they are variable the wells or the cell you have to change the tip every time and uh, same is the case with pi these pipettes you have to change these pipettes you have to discard them and this this uh, while uh, as you are seeing here this is a cryo while because uh, when you are culturing the cells you also need to store them for future experiments you cannot al always culture the cells and always passage them so you you have to store them and they are usually stored at minus 80 degrees centigrade or uh, minus 190 degrees centigrade in the liquid nitrogen so in that case uh, these cryo wiles uh, uh, cells are dissolved in the media containing different concentrations of uh, fps usually i use in the cell culture i use 20 percent fps when i store the cells but in case of cultivation i use only 10 percent fps but in storing i use uh, 20 percent fps and i also add uh, i think 10 percent uh, dmso to these cells uh, which is a cryopreservative which help uh, which which helps uh, which which prevents these cells from abruptly uh, <coughs> freezing so uh, after putting these uh, samples in in, in this dms in, in this media which is the freezing media and we, we have to abruptly store them in in, in, in minus 20 uh, oh, sorry minus 80 degrees centigrade but uh, for that we use isopropanol box uh, i think isoprop you you maybe uh, you have heard that isopropanol it freezes very slowly it 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 it, it, uh, it does not allow the abrupt freezing of of these cells so it will have a uh, it, it it will prevent a uh, shock uh, to the to these cells. So uh, for the long term uh, storage, these cells are transferred at uh, to at 100 minus 196 degrees centigrade in the liquid nitrogen tank. So this was all about uh, these things that we use in the cell culture. So in the cell culture, you maybe uh, also see this type of uh, curve as you may know that uh, this is the uh, this is the this uh, this is a growth curve and in the, in the growth curve you can see that uh, in when you seed the cells here in, in in first day or some half day depending on the number of cells you have seeded there may be there may not be that that uh, much of growth there may be very less growth and uh, this is the lag phase because the cells they are they are assimilating the earth they are assimilating the nearby conditions they are they are uh, they, they they are adopting to the nearby conditions of the media so this is the lag phase and and if you are uh, thawing if you are uh, culturing the cells from for first time for example you have taken cells from the uh, this freezer or minus 80 degrees centigrade and now you are culturing them and this at that uh, time this uh, phase will be longer because it needs a very long time for them to to adjust with the media to adjust with the conditions so this lag phase will be will be longer and after that uh, after the lag phase there will be the ex ex exponential growth phase in which cells will grow uh, uh, abruptly and uh, and uh, this this is a doubling time uh, here it is doubling time is shown when the number of cells it, it is very simple when the number of cells double if you have seeded uh, 100 cells or at some point if there were 100 cells and after some time if the number of cells become 200 that is a doubling time of the, of the cell and it, it is the one one cycle or one lifetime of the cell in each cell uh, doubles to and forms the two cells and after some time when when the cell culture flask uh, becomes full or when the media which in the which which we have added in the cell culture flask if it exhausts then in that case the stationary phase is reached and uh, and when this stationary phase uh, reaches the cells uh, stop growing 
so here here uh, in before before attaining this uh, stationary phase here we have to subculture we have to passage these cells onto on, in in another flask to give them the more space to give them the fresh media for 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 their effective growth so we don't have to wait for this stationary phase because in this stationary phase there may be the lot of uh, metabolites or other things that may be generated because of these dead cells because maybe some cells are dying in, in in this stationary phase more cells are dying in this stationary phase so we have to uh, subculture the cells before uh, before this stationary phase so here uh, I, I will also talk about uh, when uh, I, I, I talked about how when how to freeze the cells I, I told you that we have to uh, take the cells and add the freezing media to them the freezing media contains DMEM uh, I personally use 20% FBS uh, for freezing and 10% DMSO which as a cry as a cry cryopreservative when you freeze themselves and uh, after some time after uh, you 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 are willing or you need to do some experiment in that case you have to now thaw these cells you have to take these cells out and uh, culture in the media and there is also the procedure to thaw thaw these cells so when when you take these cells so uh, so thaw thaw, thaw them uh, you have to thaw them but not uh, too much rapidly you don't have to thaw them very rapidly and uh, also then uh, actually this uh, freezing media it, it contains the dmso so you cannot keep these cells uh, thawed or in in a liquid condition for a very long time because uh, this dmso will damage the cells so in that case you have to thaw these uh, uh, cells and abruptly you have to add um, uh, you have to add the fresh media to the cells to neutralize the DMS. So what I do personally, uh, I, I actually add uh, the uh, media for, uh, in, in these cryo vials. And uh, while uh, I, I don't let it thaw before and after I will neutralize it, I, I, will, I simultaneously uh, keep adding the media, uh, which, which, which has a normal temperature and it simultaneously thaws uh, the, this freezed uh, cells and uh, it also neutralizes at the same time. So I keep on adding uh, some uh, media and remove uh, the uh, keep two to three to four times I add the fresh media to these cells uh, 0.5 ml or uh, or 1 ml media to these cells and uh, I will simultaneously remove this okay and it will thaw also and it will also neutralize the DMS so that is in after thawing you have to yeah, you have you have to place uh, or put them in the flask and it will take some more time because in in this thawing condition here uh, yeah. the lag phase will be more because uh, because they need to assimilate uh, to, to, to to the normal conditions growing conditions after some time uh, when when uh, this subculturing phase reaches you have to subculture them and passage them uh, <clears throat> accordingly according to your experiment and after if you want to pull uh, if you want to freeze them uh, for, for further experiments uh, you can you can use the freezing media that i have already told you then freeze 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 these cells uh, <clears throat> in in minus at minus 80 or minus 190 60 degrees centigrade so i already told you these things thawing uh, frozen cells uh, I have here written 10% uh, FBS. Usually, mostly uh, people are using 10% FBS, but sometimes to keep cells uh, in in a good condition, I use 20% FBS. So, cell thawing cells, uh, this 10% FBS uh, cell passaging. Now, when when we thaw here, so here here huh, here it, it is it is definitely 10. I actually sorry, I, I was confused. Thawing frozen cells. That means. Uh, when when we thaw them, so we have to use DMM plus 10% FBS and also 1% antibiotic, which I have not written here. And uh, in in case of passaging, we also need the same DMM 10% FBS and 1% antibiotic. But cryopreservation and storage, I use DMM 10 to 20% of FBS. I use personally 20 and 5% of DMS. So uh, we, we we use uh, to to store these cells. So uh, the cells they look uh, they look uh, in the in the microscope they look uh, like this I mean, and you have to visualize them uh, on on daily basis uh, their their morphology and because every cell uh, has a different morphology and you you will come to know uh, about the morphology of cells and uh, these cells they they have not they are not adhered yet properly and the cells. Uh, that have adhered they have given their morphology but the, when they, these cells will also adhere they will give their morphology i think this is the 50 percent confluency 
confluence is number of uh, but total uh, number of cells or area, area covered uh, by the cells in, in in the cell culture class when when they reach this uh, 70 80 percent confluence you have to pass either you don't have to wait uh, for the cell culture plate to be full or to to reach to the stationary phase before the stationary phase mm -hmm. at this 80 percent confluence you can you can pass the cells in in a different cell culture plate so now I will talk about different contaminations that usually occur in in in, uh, uh, in, uh, in, in cell culture. So but talking about bacterial contamination, uh, when when you usually when you on daily basis you check your cells. If you find uh, these particles moving, um, these bacterial particles, they this is the picture. If if it was a video, uh, they uh, constantly move. They constantly move or agitate uh, from from their location. So if if uh, you see this type of thing in 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 your cell culture, so it is an alarming situation, and you have you have to you have to you have to discard your cells because they are contaminated by the bacteria and uh, on uh, this is a microscopic image but on on by your eyes you can also see that the, this phenol red which is in in this media uh, they it, it has turned yellow because of, of of this bacterial contamination because this bacteria will maybe secrete some acidic uh, metabolites and it will it will turn it yellow so if, if you if you see that your media has turned yellow maybe your your cells are contaminated <clears throat> maybe your cells are contaminated in, in some another case if media is also exhausted and <clears throat> normal cells also have secreted some acidic metabolites in red kettle so this media will be yellow but if it is yellow it is alarming situation uh, if, if it's not the contamination you have to change the media or passage the cells but if, if it is uh, or you have to look into the microscope uh, what 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 exactly is it so if it is a bacterial contamination you have, you have to discard these cells and you have you you have to make sure more you you have to recall from where the contamination may have occurred in these cells so you have you have to uh, you have to uh, correct those things so if you, if you see this uh, meshy like structure in 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 your uh, in, in in your plates uh, uh, when when you uh, in in the cell in in this microscope when you uh, agitate your plate this meshy like structure will also agitate agitate like like this so this meshy like structure is a is a fungal contamination so if if you see like this uh, you don't have to ignore this uh, type of condition you you have to report to your senior or uh, you you have to uh, remove, remove your flasks uh, from from the incubator because there are chances in case of bacterial or fungal contamination this contamination will will transfer to other cells and may may destroy the work of others also so uh, or you, you it may it may also uh, contaminate your other flask also so you you have to keep track on 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 these things in the cell culture in on on daily basis so if the, if there is a yeast yeast contamination uh, so yeasts look like this like these budding things so uh, if if uh, if you see like these buds or these particles uh, <clears throat> you 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 have to you have to discard your cells and actually uh, fungal and bacterial contamination uh, it is it is very easy to identify from from the from eyes uh, because uh, the the bacteria the media and uh, this cell culture uh, image if you uh, it it really looks very messy but in in this yeast contamination some sometimes uh, some uh, person will confuse that these these are the cells. Uh, which which have not yet adhered to the to the cell culture plate but if you see the, them like these buds then it is definitely the yeast contamination so you you have to keep track on 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 this and you have to take the action accordingly so there are also chance of cross contamination and it, it is a it is a very serious thing uh, so if you are working on two different cell lines you have to keep track on the cross contamination or you have to work separately on on both cell lines, cell lines or, or if you are uh, at the same time opening both the flasks or, or in, in the cell culture you have to keep vigilant uh, you do not uh, dip the tip of uh, media tip of uh, one flask on the another because the simple touch of the media from one flask to another flask it may cross the co cross contamination for example cross contamination this is one type of cell and this is another type of cell so when you when you see in the microscope you see two different morphologies maybe that is the another type of cell and it will um, definitely lead to manipulation of the results if, if you uh, 
if you do experiments in these type of cells and uh, in in some cases like in these cells morphology is different it's easy for you to visualize that there are two types of cells but in in some types of cells if the morphology is not that much different it is very difficult very much difficult to 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 uh, to know that uh, the cells are cross contaminated so you will you will keep on working uh, in in a cell culture and uh, you you will not know that you are actually working on two different cell lines or you are giving your treatment you are studying two different cell lines because if the morphology is same you will never come to know so if if you are working on two different cell lines it is advisable to uh, to uh, to uh, do the procedures like passaging and other things separately for one cell line and then another another cell line but if if your hand is very good you can you can work on or at, at the same time but you have to keep the precautions and you have to keep vigilant so that you you will not cross contaminate uh, the cell lines uh, because even i have experience of this thing uh, uh, i i usually uh, keeps eye on on the cells but uh, at at one time but i was lucky that uh, the cells were of uh, uh, different morphologies i I uh, after after working for uh, one to two experiments, I started looking that there 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 is some and it is it is very difficult to observe uh, the different morphology. But you have to keenly observe your cells uh, daily. So I started looking that there is a different morphology in other cells. And I, I recall that before some days I was working on two cell lines. Maybe that is the reason. Uh, maybe even if one cell was uh, transferred to this this flask and uh, they started growing and whole uh, they they have they have covered. Uh, two cells by growing in the, in the same flask so you you have to uh, make sure that uh, you will not cross contaminate the cells so this was all for this uh, cell culture uh, basic uh, uh, techniques i i hope you have enjoyed uh, this lecture this lecture was basically for the this was a basic uh, uh, cell culture techniques uh, lecture for the students who who are new to cell culture and who are going to start the cell culture so I hope you have enjoyed. I hope I have given justice. I have done justice uh, for teaching uh, this, uh, and I have. I hope I have covered all the things. If you, uh, if I missed anything, or if you need to know anything, uh, or uh, if 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 you need any clarification, so you can write in the comments, and I, I will I will surely answer. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.